time, the sun, and the speaker, the trinity that the earth has always relied on for its needs. The sun, in particular, has always been the source of light, and being that, the humans of Earth saw the sun as more than just a star. It was their god, their solace, the center of their faith. But the sun never spoke to mere mortals. One person had to be elected as the speaker to learn the ways. Joe L became the speaker, the symbol of peace between humans and the sun. He was the key to keeping all things safe because it was certain that angering the sun would bring about immediate and inescapable destruction. As such, the Trinity was formed. Time kept the quantum stability of the galaxies. The sun gave the world light, and Joe L, the speaker, kept all things in balance. It was the year 2049. Science and technology had progressed to new heights, yet the humans still faced one detrimental problem: they didn't have enough energy to fuel their city-states. In order to satisfy their needs for energy and to avoid their impending doom, the humans then looked to their god, the sun. Being the speaker, Joe L was provided with the key that would activate the console to begin the process. Once activated. It would fuel not just individual cities or countries, but entire planets. Right as Joe L was about to activate the console, a hooded, mysterious figure in black knocked him out with a baseball bat and ripped the necklace holding the key from him. What did he want? What was he doing? And most importantly, where were his defined muscles? With Joe L knocked cold, there was no one capable of stopping the hooded figure and his tribe. The hooded figure smirked and inserted it while making several uncalculated adjustments to the device. With this, the mad scientist under my rule will finally have the ability to wield the power of the sun instead of this stupid machine. The mad scientist, a group of individuals with the same common devious objective, to utilize the sun's power for their own growth and to obliterate every other being on Earth to ensure the survival of their own kind. Four bright lights, green, red, blue, yellow, shot out in the sky and circled back to Earth. What were those four lights that shot out into the sky? What would they do? Joe L is still missing. The key is gone, and the entire console is wrecked. Back on Earth, the humans have been cursed, and are now non-humans, but rather alien beings of different era. They have lost their human forms, but they still keep their human senses. From the past, Nerida, the first humans living in this area, the oldest. Most traditional group. The revolutionaries, Siliano. They've long moved on from Earth. It is too mainstream and boring for them.
present, Codabyte, the founders of Binjai Hall who live, breathe, and eat the internet. They are not spoiled, no, they are just growing up. Future Epiphroid. They are said to be semi immortal or at least live longer lifespans. The most liberal but the most greedy. I don't know why, but they have super eye powers. This is a quest. This is the Odyssey. It's a journey fraught with challenges and battles. But will they succeed?